Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and hello Sazma. My team and I will be talking about how Air Asia managed its revenue amidst COVID-19 pandemic. So, let's go. Hi, my name is Sadatul Nashakira binti Abishuko, 2019-872632. Hi, my name is Akila Amdi Saleh, 2019-217986. My name is Muhammad Abid bin Kamarudin, 2019-988-982. Hi, my name is Nur Shafiqah Binti Zaina, 2019-253536. Hello, my name is Nur Shahada Binti Saifu Azmi, 2019-251-568. Revenue management refers to the pricing and distribution strategies that firm use to maximize revenue by selling inventory. No inventory which means no businesses. The inventory includes selling a goods or services. This is how the company's revenue management works. Firstly, the company must comprehend the customer segmentation based on demographic factors such as age, gender, status, and interest. It is proposed to establish the suitable price for different groups of customers. The second is forecasting demand. It is occurs when company can predict the customer demands based on the historical customer data. The third is yield management which focus on price and sales. Indeed, it is capable of determining the optimal pricing with the most profit margin. And lastly, there is dynamic pricing. It demonstrates how businesses can change their price in response to the market demand. For example, the price of airline ticket rises during peak season as the travel for demand rises. AAGO Malaysia was founded by Tony Fernandez, Datuk Hapam Nirwacap, Datuk Kamaludin Malandun and Datuk Aziz Bakar. Did you know that AAGO was initially owned by Wisma Di Abdul Haikam in 1993 and on September 8, 2001, Tony Fernandez took over AAGO for only one ringgit despite having a debt of 14 million ringgit. Even though they only had two planes, one destination on Langkawi Island and 250 employees, they were able to pay all the debt in less than two years. However, following the tragedy of the 9-11 A-Place in the United States, Tony Fernandez and his friend were not scared to use the great opportunity to revive the industry. The AAGIA company, which was previously only 1 ringgit and now is worth more than 2 million ringgit. Do you know there are many companies are facing financial crisis and over 30,000 companies had ceased their operations since the first announcement of MCO? AAsia is no exception. It's also one of the companies that encounter financial problems due to the COVID-19. The government has closed the international borders to contain the spread of COVID-19 pandemic. Based on Malay Mail's 2020, AAsia had suffered a net loss up to 851.78 million ringgit on September 30. Reportedly, on March 2021, AAsia Group Berhad shares fell after the airline reported a 92% drop in revenue. So, what steps is AAsia taking to address these issues? To withstand the challenges of running an airline during a global pandemic, AAsia has developed its digital and non-passenger airline businesses. AAsia Digital was launched to help the company rebound from the pandemic. AAsia Digital is expanded into four verticals, which are platform, financial service, logistic, and F&B. Under platform vertical, AAsia.com has been extended with a combination of 15 types of products and services under three pillars: travel, e-commerce, and fintech. Big Pay, AAsia's digital financial service, offers money transfer with remittances available in 10 countries. AAsia Teleport offers logistic and delivery service throughout the region. While for F&B, Santan Kitchen provides meals and cloud kitchen space for aspiring F&B entrepreneurs and our farm, a farm-to-table platform that connects businesses directly to producers. When we talk about distribution channel, distribution channel is intermediaries are the common channel used by an industry to deliver goods and service to its customers. Just like in AASIA company, it used the same concept to get attention from its customers too. However, AASIA offers flight to more than 160 destinations worldwide. The company has a service at both international and domestic level to meet the needs of their customers. For your information, AASIA use multiple distribution channel the resources for the ease of the customers including internet booking, exclusive reservation, 
and sales office and choose the company authorized ticketing agents by A Asia Company. Last but not least, A Asia contributes or cooperate with other countries, other sub companies in international countries like affiliate and line tie A Asia, Indonesia A Asia, Philippine A Asia, A Asia of India, and A Asia X. A Asia X needs focusing service on long haul roads.